What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Over the weekend, Anderson Pock revealed that he is now officially signed to Aftermath. He did so in a, in a short 10 second Twitter video. I want y'all to say what's up to the new Aftermath representative. Yes, Lord! Anderson Pack, baby. Welcome to Aftermath. Bam! Um, it's interesting because there was been there's been rumors that he was gonna sign for a while. Obviously, he worked with Dr. Dre on Compton. Uh, he was featured heavily on it, so it led people to think maybe he's going to sign. Will he sign? Has he been signed? You know, the all those kind of rumors circulating online, and he proved a couple times that he was just independent. He dropped his two EPs in 2015 and started off 2016 with Malibu, and only a few weeks old, now he signs this deal with Aftermath. So I think it's interesting that he chose Aftermath um, because... The track record there is kind of, you know, not on the same scale as a lot of major labels. Um, obviously, Dr. Dre has created monsters. He's created stars. Um, he helped in the role of Kendrick Lamar. He created Eminem and, and helped with 50. These are some of the biggest artists of our generation. But on the flip side, there's artists such as Joel Ortiz, who was originally signed to Aftermath. Uh, Truth Hurts, um, Bishop Lamont, Slim Mobster, Ra even Rakim. All of these people didn't really find success under Aftermath. And that's not to say that they're not um, exceptional talents because obviously Dre saw something in them. But I don't feel like any of those names, except for Rakim, has that star factor, that star power. Anderson Pac has that. I feel like his music is very unique. And it's very melodic, and his videos are always fun to watch. Um, I haven't seen him live perform yet, so I can't really judge that aspect. But I think he just has that overall package to be a star. So, at the same time as like everybody's thinking, is is aftermath a good decision for him? I feel like it is. I think he's going to do great under the aftermath umbrella because Dr. Dre has a a knack for finding unique talent and really developing them like i said not to take away from like someone like bishop lamont uh he's a good artist but at the same time he really didn't have that mainstream appeal but anderson has just that um his his records are pretty much radio ready and it's and it's a sound that's not gonna be found on radio already so it's only a matter of time in my eyes. I was hoping for something like this. If it wasn't Aftermath, I was hoping it was somebody else. You know, Def Jam, Atlantic. Somebody that can help bring him to the next level. Because being independent and trying to become a star is a very hard game. But I'm confident in Anderson. I'm confident in Dre and Aftermath. And we'll see what this partnership brings upon us for the rest of 2016. I know... May is coming up, and that's when the No Worries album is supposed to come out. That's Anderson Pac and uh, Knowledge, the producer. So I don't know if that's changing the plans or if that's merely just going to be dropped through Aftermath or I don't know what the deal with that is now. Um, that kind of comes into play, but we'll see what happens. And I would love to know your thoughts on Anderson Pac signing in the comment section below. Do you think Aftermath is going to make him a star? Um, or do you think it was a bad decision? Let me know below and then like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already share the video Follow me on Twitter at sermons domain and as always. Thank you for your time I appreciate you for watching and until next time peace